Now, do you remember your first smart home device you purchased? Well, mine was the Sonos Zigbee Basic Switch. And boy, it got me hooked into the smart home world and Zigbee itself. Now it's time to amp up my Zigbee network with the Sonoff Zigbee dongle. It's 70% cheaper, twice the network power, and it comes in a shiny black housing. So this is going to be an easy tutorial to expose any Zigbee brand into Apple HomeKit. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Eddie D'Souza and if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple ecosystem, then there are tons of plugin tutorial videos you can use. So please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Now, if you're into smart home DIY, then in some shape or form, you have used one of Sonos devices. They are affordable. They can be flashed with touch motor and also be added into HomeBridge, Hoops, as well as Home Assistant. So they did send me the USB Zigbee dongle plus some of their Zigbee devices to enable into Apple HomeKit using Zigbee to MQTT and HomeBridge. So unboxing the Zigbee dongle and the Zigbee devices is straightforward and simple. And guess what? I love the color of the boxes, quite attractive in fact. There is minimal documentation and the Zigbee devices also come with a 3M double-sided tape. And assembling the Zigbee dongle is easy. Just connect the antenna to the main chassis. Anyways, for all of this to work with Apple HomeKit, we will be using obviously the uh, Sonoff Zigbee USB dongle, plus some of the Zigbee devices which Sonoff has provided. I've left all of the links in the description. They are the dose sensor, the temperature sensor, as well as the presence sensor. And I've also added a Sonoff Mini to this lampshade right here. You'll also need a USB extension cable that you will connect the dongle to the uh, Raspberry Pi. And also we will need to install Zigbee to MQTT and to enable the cross-platform integration, we will use HomeBridge that's installed in the same Raspberry Pi. Plus I've left in the description on how to install HomeBridge using a Mac PC or a Synology NAS. And you can also use this tutorial with hoops as well. Now, before I go and break down the video for you, in this tutorial specifically, I will be using install scripts that I've created, which reduces 50% of copying and error pasting errors. In short, making the tutorial easy to implement. Well, the video is broken down into five parts with the timestamps in the description. They are one, we're gonna start off with the MQTT install and update all of the Linux packages followed by the Zigbee to MQTT install and configuration. Then we'll go and add up all of these Zigbee devices into uh, the Zigbee to MQTT. From there, we'll hop over to the HomeBridge uh, interface, add in the plugin, and then expose all of the devices to HomeKit, followed by a quick demo. Now, let's jump into the tutorial. Alrighty, as mentioned earlier, I did say that we're gonna be using install scripts for this entire video reducing 50% of copying and pasting of commands. So what we're gonna do first is in MQTT, we are going to first in update all of the Linux packages and then go in and install Mosquito. Over here, when we go into mqtt.sh, this is what the script will do. It's gonna update all of the Linux packages and go ahead and install Mosquito followed by creating an automatic file. And in this case, we won't be creating any username and password, just the default Mosquito and then we're going to go and restart the hub. Now remember, one of the things I've noticed is with this dongle, you've got to uh, install MQTT first and then connect it. So what we will do now is go ahead and install MQTT. To do that, let's go ahead and open terminal and we're going to SSH into the Pi. Now, just in case you don't know the IP address of the device, we can go and open up LAN scan. You can even use advanced IP for Windows. So we're going to click on start LAN scan and you see that the IP address for this device is 142. So we're going to type in your SSH pi at 192, put in your password. To install the script, we're going to type in curl dash SK and we're going to go and click on raw, copy paste and we're going to hold shift 
backslash sudo bash dash and let's hit enter let the install go on it's going to take up roughly around about five to eight minutes depending on your internet connection awesome so the mqtt is now installed it's going to reboot and then we're going to access the raspberry pi again i also want to point out one thing that i've connected a device using a ethernet cable it's the best way of connecting it to your network more reliable than over wi-fi so let's give it, give it a couple of seconds and we will access the raspberry pi to ensure the mqtt service is online on our network now to test if the MQTT service is online, all we have to do is use a app called MQTT Explorer. I've also left the link in the description. Let's open it. And we're gonna click on connections. And we're just gonna put the IP address, disable validate certificate, and we're gonna click on connect. So this confirms MQTT Explorer is working and the service is also online. Now let's first shut down the home bridge service, connect the dongle to the Pi, and then we will go ahead and install the Zigbee to MQTT. So let's go ahead now and install the Zigbee to MQTT. But before we do that, I went ahead and installed the uh, dongle using the USB cable extension to the Raspberry Pi. And now let's proceed with the installation. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to SSH. And we're just gonna go and check the install script. So this is the install script. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and install the dev uh, repository. I've done a lot of testing in the production repository of the Zigbee to MQTT. This dongle is not yet functional. Maybe they will move it at some point of time. So we're going to use the dev repository that's consistently updated. And we will also go and create the configuration.yma files and also go and create the service to start up automatically when we reboot the Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to reboot the entire service and device once the installation is complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on raw, copy the link and go to terminal. And we're going to type curl-sk paste shift and backslash together sudo bash and we're going to hit enter now since this setup is on based on the dev repository it takes a little bit more longer to complete installation so it takes between 10 to 15 minutes again depending on all on your internet connection okay so Zigbee to MQTT is already installed. Let's wait for the Pi to re reboot and then we'll quickly go and update the configuration.yml file and also uh, some of the parameters to uh, boot up automatically whenever your server restarts. So first what we're gonna do is go quickly and change the path. So over here, this is the path. Let's go and assign some permissions. So don't worry, we have all of this in the description. So I'm going to add in the description. So this allows permissions to access the device. And let's go find the device ID. Okay, so there was a difficulty in uh, the port identifying the device. So you want to uh, check this when you're doing your installation. So I had this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot it one more time to make sure we are connected correctly. Let's change directory and check if the dongle is now available. So we have the dongle. So you want to make sure you remember this location USB that we will add into the configuration.yml. So let's go ahead and open the configuration.yml. And what we're gonna do first is go and add in the server information. This is the IP address of your Raspberry Pi that's installed with MQTT. We have not created any username and password. And the serial port, we will update it to USB zero. We will also enable the front end. So we'll use 
port A0, A2. You can use any port as required. So I'll be using A0, A2 and I will just update the link which is the link to the i to the raspberry pi that's about it control x y enter so once the configuration of yml is updated all we have to do now is run npm start now when you're running this for the first time it takes time to compile all of the information and then start the service so be patient it takes around about five minutes as well Okay, now the service is installed up and running. Control C to stop the service. So what I'm gonna do next is update the service to run automatically. So I'm just gonna copy this text, sudo paste enter. Now, if you're using Homebridge, you wanna make sure you delete these um, user bin. If you're using Hoops, leave it as it is. So I'm using Homebridge, so I'm gonna delete it as it is. And what we're gonna do is user, in my case, it's pi. If you're using hoops, you just update it here to hoops, but we'll keep it as pi and then control X, save. Let's reboot the entire server. So this completes all of the installation and configuration. Now let's go now and install all of these devices into Zigbee to MQTT. Now to pair all of these devices, first thing we have to go and access the front end uh, of Zigbee to MQTT. So let's open up a new tab, 192, and we're just going to put in the link of the server and 8082 is the port. Okay, so um, it's already picked up one device over here. So if I click on it, go to expose, so it's picked up one device. What I'm gonna do is quickly add in the rest, rename it, and then we'll hop over to Homebridge. So you don't need to wait. I'm just gonna zip through this entire pairing time and uh, give me a couple of minutes. Now I've added all of the devices and you can see there's one that's still not uh, supported here. If you see this error, all you have to do is delete it, force remove, and then repair it again. So we already have all of the devices already set up in Zigbee to MQTT. Uh, the one that the door sensor, it takes some time to support it, but it doesn't matter. It's gonna hop over to Homebridge. Now let's jump over to Homebridge and bring all of these devices over there. Well, this is a quick overview on how the Zigbee to MQTT plugin works. Basically, it listens to the MQTT messages published by Zigbee to MQTT, then detects the devices using the device topic, the device definition provided by Zigbee to MQTT contains a list of exposed attributes, which this plugin uses to determine which HomeKit service and characteristic to expose. This plugin should work with most lights, switches, and sensors. All right, so now you know how the uh, plugin works. Let's go and now and install it. Let's log into the server. Go to plugins, type Z to M, Enter, install. Configuration is very simple. All we're gonna do is add in the IP address of the Pi that runs the MQTT. Very important, you also wanna make sure you wanna reserve the IP address in your router settings. So that every time there's a network restart or a reboot, the uh, Pi always gets the same IP address and this makes it easier for all of the devices to understand the location where Homebridge resides. Let's click on save, restart the server. So it has connected with the MQTT server and it's pulled in all of these devices. So I've also added one device from another brand and let's go to accessories. You'll see that all is over here. Now you know that the, the door sensor is still acting up. It's not uh, uh, activated, but let's quickly go and check if the lampshade is working. 
So the lampshade works. My basic relay works. I hope you can hear the click. And um, the button I have to configure in HomeKit. Let me let me go quickly and add this device again. Now all of the devices are installed. They're available in accessories. You see that the door was uh, door sensor was acting up, and this is normal with Zigbee to MQTT. On the next refresh, this is going to eliminate that device and you're gonna add it. So you have to be patient with your pairing, wait for it completes all of the publishing and connectivity, then um, restart your home bridge service. Now, to uh, expose to HomeKit is very straightforward. What you wanna do is through your phone, uh, scan the QR code that you see on your screen and add it to as a new accessory in HomeKit. And then I open up the app over here, go to demo home bridge, and you'll see that the device is over here. So if I go to my lampshade, Show control works just perfect over here. And if I go to show control for my relay, I have it over here. And then just gonna turn this off quickly. And I just let me configure my button. So this is another brand from Xiaomi. Uh, single press, let's see, comes on. Double press, we make this go off. And let's close it. So single press comes on, double press, goes off. Now with this Sonoff Zigbee dongle, it's about time to move over all of my current Zigbee devices to this new amped up Zigbee network, keep adding new devices and have it ready for my new smart home build. And that's a wrap up. Now to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button cause that's the motorway, that's the real driver. If there's anything I can help you with, don't feel shy to leave a comment below to keep the conversation going. As always, go to the developer's webpage, show them your support as well. So my friends, until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.